So, hello world, hello CS50. This is my final project called Machine Learning on CT Scans of Breast Cancer. This is my name and my usernames, where I am and the date. Um, the whole project is done in Python. I used some libraries, um, sklearn, uh, numpy, mainly. And all of this is in a Jupyter note notebook for a better overview and visualization. Um, I used the dataset Breast Cancer. Here I get a quick look at it, uh, the classifications in malignant and benign, and here is zeros and ones uh, to work with better. And the feature names, like some of the features of the um, cancer scans. And here is the actual data we will train the model with. Uh, we split the data into 80% training and 20% testing if, uh, to see how well the model actually works. This is standard stuff. Now the model we actually use is called Gaussian Naive Bayes. Uh, Bayes theorem is pretty well understandable and with the Gaussian part we also have mean and variance which is also not hard to calculate. We just use NumPy mean and var here but you can also spell it out. This is what we calculate here. Then next uh, we need the prior probabilities from Bayes theorem PC. We just do that uh, counting all the instances from the classes and dividing through the whole length of all labels. Then the next thing we need is the um, likelihood of a feature given the class C. Just do that with Gaussian density. It's a math formula translated into code here. Now we do that for each feature. So each xi in C. Um, and we need this one. So given a class uh, C, how likely is the feature in that? Uh, this is what we need for our machine learning model. And this is the formula for it. So we just uh, use our Gaussian density formula down here and um, loop through all the features. Um, then we use that in our prediction um, function. And here we test the accuracy by just dividing correct uh, through total and down here we see our accuracy is 92% which is nice. Um, here are some more visualizations of the features like the radius, how they are in um, malignant and benign, um, perimeter, same thing with box plots and here's the best part, a confusion matrix showing the true and false positives and negatives so we have 65 and 40 so 105 true uh, positives and negatives and only 9 false positives and negatives. So this is my final project. Uh, more of it uh, um, is in the readme file, but that's it for now.